today's mission. Nice July afternoon. She's a bit dreary, overcast, and we've got heaps of rain forecast tonight. And so I think from now on, we might be lucky and it holds out. The chances are it will just start to slowly increase as the afternoon rolls on. We've got sky and fern. Two puppy dogs. Hey, Skyzy. Fernie girl. And we're in a beautiful little stream. And we're gonna head on up that way. Steep sided beast. Um, and yeah, I've never been up here before. So we're going to truck on sort of two or three hours up and then two or three hours down and try and get back to the vehicle before dark and it's more or less just having a bit of an explore, giving the dogs a run. Fern's been on ACC for a few weeks, she bumped into Mr Boris and got a bit of a hiding. Boss was a bit slow eh girl? So yeah, that was unfortunate, but she's back ready to rock and roll. The vet's done a good job. She's had a good heal up. So we'll just cruise our way up. The good thing about having steep sides is if there's any venison around and the dogs get onto them, there's a good chance they'll flush them down to the river or to this little stream. So I might get a shot at one, or like the majority of times, the dogs will finish it for me and yeah in terms of pigs I don't think we'll be bumping into too many it's not really um, a pig area from what I've heard but there might be a couple of benches and you just never know where they pop up yeehaw got the trusty single shot 44 with me a few muesli bars and just looking forward to enjoying being in paradise Keep you posted as we cruise on up the stream. The sides aren't too bloody flash. She's pretty thick. So I think I'm better off hopping back down. And just rock hopping my way up. The floods are blowing the stream out, so she's nice and open down there. Just a bit bouldery and slippery, but I think it'll be more fun than this. Tangle. The dogs have tracked off upstream. About two minutes behind me there was a shitload of deer sign. So yeah, I'll check in on the GPS and make a plan. Can you see that? Sweet. So they're just about two hundred straight upstream, so yeah. We'll jump down here and go straight up I think. So both dogs have just come back to me. Nally. We'll head up only another hundred meters to where they finally stopped chasing. 
lots of fresh skid marks and deer tracks coming up the side of the creek so I'd say they've chased one and given up yeah so we'll head on up to where they got to have a look around see what happened let the dogs have a bit of a breather I'll have a bit of a breather as well and then we'll carry on up a bit further beautiful stream but man oh man you wouldn't want to climb the sides that's for sure The dogs have just headed up to that slip. And we're having a good look around. By the looks of it, she's well eaten out. So there'll be a few deer hanging around it. So the doggos have decided to go rock climbing. They're 300 meters above me, and this is as far as I'm gonna go. A little bit too steep for my liking. Beautiful slip though. Heaps of deer sign. Couple of tracks just peeling out of the bush to my left. And you probably can't see it, but there's a nice clearing up in there. And then just below this rock face, there's a little grassy chute that comes down. Perfect Rusa country. And I'd say that's what's hanging around. Come across two areas on that side with nice Rusa pads, plenty of rubbings from the stags. But yeah, I might head back down to the creek, have a drink, have a snack. And I'd say these dogs are going to cause me a bit of a headache because they're on their own mission now. And there's a good chance they're going to get bluffed out and take a while to come back down. So we'll go have a relax. Give them a few minutes. And then fingers crossed we've still got time to heat up the stream a bit more. Zero pig sign as expected and um, no venison on the deck yet.
Look pretty neat exploring new country. Too much. Good old Rusa country. Steep. Ah, tea. Well, I've done a lot of hunting along the Galatea foothills, and the old Rusa sign through there is pretty phenomenal. But this place takes the keg. The dogs are still in the middle of nowhere. They are backtracking now, which is good. So I'll go down and meet them in the creek. But um, while I was waiting for them, the last sort of two hours, I've been walking up a couple of slips and taking in the serenity. But yeah, I was quite excited walking up this one. The deer sign was just insane. Just rabbit runs everywhere. All venison. Game trails for Africa. Madness. So yeah, I thought I'd keep pushing on, hoping that I might bump something or see something. And right up behind me, there's some big cliffs, but um, it sort of looked like there was a whole heap of grass below them. So I was wanting to push up there and have a look, but I don't think I'll make it up there. Um, yeah, hard tea. Beautiful though, good to see plenty of animal sign. No stag rubbings up here, but... um. Yeah, I presume there's a good mob holding up, and just down below us um, are some real good feed faces. There's just a whole heap of sort of shingle shoots running down in different directions, and plenty of tucker right down the bottom in the in the bottom of those. Um, yeah, the tucker seems to disappear a bit up here, but the animal sign is still phenomenal, which is cool. It was actually quite nice going for a bit of a stalk without worrying about the dogs. Don't do a lot of deer stalking, so I was quite excited. But yeah, the chances of me seeing something were pretty poor considering the amount of noise I was making. There were a fair few rocks falling and um, yeah, even though it's winter, she's pretty dry up here. Cool, so we'll go catch up with the wawals down in the creek. Hopefully I get back down safely. Mission on. Prime Rusa country. Just little pockets of feed. Where the sun on a good day would blare into. And they would love just chilling out, standing with the rays on them, having a little chow chow. Couple of well used game trails heading up the side of these slips. These cliffs are just so epic. 
Ginomial. No, oh, well, that's good. We got the doggy dogs back. They ended up at the top of this monstrosity. Bluffed out. Hence why I didn't really want to go up there. But I had fun while they were gone. Thank you. So we'll have a little bite to eat. Have a few almonds. Yeah, mm -hmm. few for me. Hey, Miguel. Here you going, Skyzy? Back at the car. No action on the way down. The dogs are a bit tired from their rock climb. Got to be honest, my legs are actually even a bit sore from all the rock hopping. But yeah, beautiful little stream. Nice hikoi. Good way to kill a few hours. Actually got out a lot earlier than what I was thinking because I didn't go up as far as I wanted. So we'll head home. Crack a beer. Chill out with the whanau. Maybe hop in the spa and relax. All good wow wows. I'm a goose. I'm a goose. Yeah. A little bit tired, eh? Too much time on the ACC there, Fernie. And you're getting a bit old as well, eh, McGill? It's all good. You're still beautiful. Eh? And you, no excuses for you, girl. You're still young into it. Alrighty, catch us next time.